Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the Adams Wright number 41-0942-10-119-IB. All of those part numbers conspire to mean a particular variant of this subcomponent of a complete, of an otherwise complete lock. Um, this is used out of the 4190 series lock. Uh, 4189, 4190, 4191, maybe? We'll take a look. Um, this is the interior operator escutcheon. So this is the piece that is going to be used on the inside of the door and only the inside of the door. And that's what it looks like. A lot of customers call and say, and that's okay. I mean, we get the idea. All right. I need an HEO 66. And that's certainly logical. That's not the part number. That's the casting number from whoever does the zinc casting for Adams Wright. However, when you say that, we certainly understand what you're dealing with, but there are more questions that we have to answer. It is not an absolute, um, we do not understand the final product that you require as a result of two, two factors. Um, door thickness and color. Color is easy. Um, you know, pick one of the colors. Aluminum, dark bronze, black. Um, door thickness, however, has to be measured because the length of these pieces, this tail piece that works in conjunction with the lock body. I can't really make it emulate, but as I move the knob up and down, this is going to be fixed in the hub of the lock body and that's what will f force the lock hook from hooking out retracting projecting retracting okay the length of that is directly related to the door thickness so this model we have to know for, for the interior discussions we do indeed have to know the thickness this is an, a relatively unusual model in that it works on door thicknesses from 1 and 7 16 to 1 and 5 8 so that range of door thickness simply makes it less common, less common, uh, doesn't make it unusual or wrong. You could certainly have it, but it's the thinner doors that we sell all the time, the inch and an eighth thick doors, those, and the 10 in the part number is what tells us that. So the 410942 means interior discussion. When we add digits to the end of that, you're now defining the thickness of the door so that all of this um, is the proper length. Could you order it longer than necessary? Yeah, you could. Um, you might, depending on the application, you might run into having to trim something down. The right way to proceed is to just simply order the right size. Then the 119 is the black finish. This is what black looks like from Adams Wright. That is zinc in the 4190 series is a metal exterior and interior trim package. They have their 4430 series. Same concept of sliding door lock. Doesn't take the identical preparation. Um, but it would have injection molded plastic trim on the outside. So if you've got plastic, this is the wrong item. If you've got metal, this could be the right item for, for your application. So the IB in the part number, that means individually boxed, one per box. Um, you could probably order this in a bulk pack of 50. If you're building a condo building, you'd want to do that, you know, save the small amount of additional charge for all of the packaging. No reason to waste all of that. There are some links down below. Let's take a closer look. Template for the 4190. That is a parts drawing of the 4190, 4189, 4190 series lock. Um, there is the primary components that are listed therein. If you look at the interior discussion, you're going to see 41-0942 by XX, that's the door thickness, by XXX, that is the color of the unit. So those are the variables uh, that you're dealing with. If you also need the screws, those are listed there as well. Be mindful to order them. Nothing is included with this except what's specifically shown. And anything on that page that has its own part number would be a separate line item to order. There's then a link below this video to the product brochure, and that is an overview of the entire series of lock. 
I had mentioned earlier uh, the, a 4191. I knew that there was a dummy. It's a 4195. On the bottom left of page two shows you how these part numbers are put together for an entire lock, but that's valuable because you'll be able to pick up the, the first set of two digits you need for the door thickness. If you've got a door that's one to inch and three eighths, use a dash zero one. If it's from one and seven sixteenths to one and five eighths, uh, pardon me. Let's take a look closer. That's that's the part number for the entire lock. That's not translating correctly. Okay, there is yes a parts diagram. Okay. Forgive me. I ju I, so the um, the part number that I was giving you earlier does not apply. The variance, the two dashes, that's for an entire lock. So some people say, you know what, give me the entire lock. Well, if you truly want that and other parts are, are broken, that product brochure is how you'll build the entire part number. Now, jumping to the parts diagram, forgive me, uh, we're going to look at the same exploded parts view, but then on page two is where you're going to see part two and it will give you the way by which to uh, properly order it. Okay, um, they are showing 119 is the only option on that finish and that's not the case. You can order it in 130 which would be an aluminum type finish, 121 which would be dark bronze or the 119. Um, Aluminum is very common, black is common, dark brown, they're, it, it, they're all common, so just order the right finish. So 130, 121, or 119 are your options. They don't list those there very clearly at all. They list them only as 119. So in part two, on page two, you can see the O2 is going to be from 1 and, a, one and 11 sixteenths to a 2 inch thick door. That's really thick. Uh, 0, 09 is for the inch to inch and 3 eighths. The 10 is for inch and 7 sixteenths to 1 and 5 eighths, which is the model we have here. And then they have a dash 11. Now, what's the difference on that? I don't know the difference on that. I don't know the difference between an 11 and an 02. Oh, forgive me. I clearly know what the difference is. The difference is that the... 02 is for a 4189 series and that's going to work for your versions that do not have a key cylinder on the outside. So clearly this client has a 4190 which will include a key on the exterior. Um, for an, Well, in that instance you'd have a key on the outside for a 1 and 11 16 to 2 inch thick door. Okay, some dimensional properties. I feel like I partially butchered some of that explanation. I apologize. Overall height of the 41-0942, about 8 and 13 sixteenths overall height. The width of the item, about an inch and a quarter, just shy on that. The back side of that is going to reveal this material that will slide up and down as the knob slides up and down. Uh, you can buy that knob separately. That's on the part draw parts drawing there, 25-0094. Not uncommon for us to sell those, that's to be sure. If you do need screws, be sure to order them. Some people will say, yeah, my screws are cracked or broken. I don't hear that on the metal zinc trim version, on the plastic stuff. I hear that all the time. So be mindful uh, to order screws should you need them. Okay. Now, finally, there is a link below this video to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up not only all of the Adams Wright products that we sell, but also a link to the manufacturer's website as well as a link to the full product catalog that's there and their full parts drawing. Now they don't have parts drawings published for every piece of equipment that they make and I, I certainly wish they did um, because of how um, easy that when there's drawings that are published how they facilitate solving problems for people. Um, so they don't have everything published but what they do have is a thoroughly responsive technical support department. If there's a question that needs to be asked because it's not in the published data, um, they reply 100% of the time. Uh, we, re we rely on that. I'm quite partial to Adams Wright uh, uh, as a manufacturer in the sense that how can you not be, I suppose, because they make solutions that they have a confluence of solutions that no one else does. 
but I enjoy their product line because you can get into their product line and solve problems by being creative uh, for your client's needs. Um, when you get the material in your hand, you can study it and visualize it and start to decide, okay, how do I make this work for a such and such application? Uh, so I'm partial to their material because you're really only limited by the solutions that you come up with as a result of your imagination. And of course, the ability to do some light machining work, I suppose. But it's a, it's a manufacturer whose catalog that I constantly go to, even after nearly 30 years, to say to myself, how can I solve this client's problem? I know I can do... I can adapt something from Adam's right to do so. It's that sort of company. Electric strikes, panic devices, obviously sliding door locks, um, a variety of aluminum storefront door hardware, and many other ancillary products that you just can't easily get from anyone else. Any questions on the Adam's right 41-0942-10-119 in an IB or any other Adam's right product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you.